Hello Cancer and welcome to your bonus guidance reading for Lionsgate 8th of August 2024 with me Julie Paul. Hello, welcome, get yourself a cup of tea, cup of coffee. I got a black tea here, what have you got? Let me know. All right, listen, the reason I'm doing this is because it's a thank you from me. A little extra bonus reading because this weekend we passed the 200,000 subs mark and I am so thankful to each and every one of you who have subscribed. It's completely free and it's really helped me, my channel grow. And yeah, I'm just so thankful. So thank you so much. All right. So um, and also thank you to my paid members. All right. Subscriptions free, paid membership is not. So thank you to you as well. But Lionsgate 2024 is more powerful than every other year okay why all right what is let's start at the beginning what is Lionsgate it is a portal that opens for manifesting for creating what you want to create all right it's already opening now it starts a few days before and it goes on a few days after but the peak of it is the 8th of the 8th and because this year is a 2024 that's another eight so we got triple eight, all right? So this is a very, very powerful time for manifesting. So I wanna give you a little short bonus reading to see what you're manifesting and help you focus on it, okay? All right, so let's bring the camera down. We have the new deck. My new deck has arrived, these are mine, but this one is for wealth and success, okay? So let's see what we've got for my cancers then. We're gonna use the Tower of Dreams for six cards. Then we'll add in the affirmations. What do we have for Cancer for Lionsgate, please? What's going on for my Cancers for Lionsgate? What are they manifesting? You're manifesting transformation. You're manifesting news coming in. And the Three of Coins, collaboration, help. You've got the Magician. That is my favourite card in the deck with Judgment and the seven of cups you've got so many options so many choices here this is lovely i love to see the judgment card there's you rising up from the ashes into your new life that you're manifesting happy days well done all right let's see what the affirmations are then this is the original from hoping to have in deck okay for my cancers please that's the one we're having i am choosing to make a commitment to myself, to my happiness, and to my goals. All right, so you've got to commit to them. It's no good half-heartedly doing them. You've got to commit to them, all right? And let's see what you're getting from the Wealth and Success deck. For my Cancers, please, what's the affirmation for Wealth and Success for this portal? Okay, I create, hang on, I created, let me just get it to focus. There we go. I created many successes that are already in existence in my world. I see and recognize them all. All right, now why is this important? Let me just read it again. If you're doing the dishes, just pause for a little minute. I created many successes that are already in existence in my world. I see and recognize them all. Right, why is it important? Because when you recognize the little wins, so I'm just getting these cards out of the way so I can have a bit more space, there we go. When you recognize the little wins, you step into the energy of success for those wins. And that means the law of attraction will bring you more things to be successful about. So it aligns you with success, okay? And then this one, I am choosing to make a commitment to myself, to my happiness and to my goals. All right, to commit to them. Very often what we do is we kind of say, oh yeah, I want that, but we don't really commit to it. We don't do anything. We don't take any action on it. When we make a commitment to our goals, to our happiness, then we will take action. So you're making a commitment, okay? All right, so let's have a look then. So. We've got the death card, transformation. Let me move them over a little bit, okay. Transformation. What are you transforming? What are you transforming, Cancer? 
okay? What part of your life are you transforming? You have absolute freedom here with the magician to transform any part of your life you want. The magician is the alchemist. He is the magician. You can make magic here. So is it the relationships and your connections that you want to transform and transmute and make better or create? right? To create. Do you want more success in your relationships? What about your job? What about your health? What about all areas of your life? What is it that you want to transform and create something new out of, okay? That doesn't mean getting rid of what you've got, but you can transform it and improve it and make it better. Now, some of you are getting rid of stuff. Because we've got death and judgment, Judgment is rising up from the ashes into the new life, into the new world. I finish with that bit. That's done. That's done. I can move into this bit now. So what is it that you are transforming? Because you're ready to rise up from the ashes. So some of you are completely leaving something behind and others of you are transforming that and making it better so that it's something new, you know? So this could be, let's say it's a relationship or, uh, uh, yeah, okay, all right, slow down. They're all talking at once, my team. Because we've got the three of coins, the three of coins is a card of collaboration and teamwork and connections being really important. Then for some of you, you are ending some of those connections. You may be changing your job or exiting a friend or exiting a lover. You may be making those big changes. OK, for others of you, this can be something new coming in. All right. A new collaboration, a new partnership, a new relationship coming in that transforms your world. So a massive transformation for the better. OK, because you're the one who is alchemizing it. All right. You're the one creating magic here. Um, I will link up here where I am um, your um, August first half. Have a look at that and I'll link at the bottom um, your 2024 readings. I know we're August. I know we're into eight months, uh, the eighth, eighth month of 12. But have a look at that as well, because that might be relevant for you as well, Cancer. OK, but something big is going down here for you for Lionsgate. And you're going to be researching. You're going to be really looking into what are the opportunities that you want to create because it's swords, this is communication. So the page of swords is the beginnings of something new. So it could be you researching online for a new job, a new home, um, online dating. You're looking into things because you're ready to rise up into your new life and world. You're ready to make a commitment to yourself. OK, for some of you, this is about health. They're telling me you've made the decision. All right, this is happening. I'm, I'm getting fit. I'm losing the weight. I'm going to start running. I'm going to start doing whatever. And you're looking into if it was running, for example, um, what running groups are in my area? All right. If it was walking, what walking groups are in my area? What 5K cancer charity things are going on now? You're doing a bit of looking at that because it's part of this making a commitment to yourself. OK, to your happiness. So other people are involved in this. Sometimes you can do it all on your own. And other times it's so much better when there's other people to help you with that. So this could be for some of you, you know, they're just saying to me, um, I've got a podcast interview tomorrow and next week another one uh, with some quite big uh, podcasters and it's a blessing for me because it gives me more exposure through that collaboration and the work that I do so it's that kind of thing that it helps you and it opens up new options for you you've got the seven of cups here so the seven of cups is choices and options it can be confusing too many choices I don't know which one to pick but it's all right. Just feel into them intuitively. All right. You don't have to be psychic to do this. Everybody's got intuition. Everybody's got that gut feeling, that hunch. What does your heart say is right about who to work with and who not to work with? Who to allow help from and into and who not? So you're doing a little bit of research on this and then feeling if it's right for you. 
and it is lifting you into a very different space, into a very different vibration. It's really good. I like this cancer. Okay, let's finish off with an angel card for you. Final message from the angels. This is the oracle of the angels. All the cards I use are linked below, including the links to my books and my website. And thank you for all you guys who've been buying my books and I know it's helping you. The feedback's lovely. Every time I see a message from you saying, this has really transformed my world, um, it's just, that's why I wrote it. I'm so pleased to see that, okay? All right, my beautiful people. From the angels, you have the eternal light of love. So allow everything that you are and do to come from a place of love. You are love. And so be that love that you are. You are stepping into the eternal light of love. And look at the power. He's holding up his sword up right up into the heart and also into that throat chakra so speak words of love be love be the love that you are and you will find that your life transforms into a more loving life as a result all right so i really love this for you cancer thank you so much for being here, for watching, for subscribing, for sharing, for joining the membership. Thank you for supporting me and this channel. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. I will be back next week with your second half of August readings. In the meantime, check out your first half and check out your, um, your annual as well. See if there's anything there for you. I'll see you next time. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.